Hey everyone, Nike here. With the release of Valve's Steam Deck, handheld gaming seems to have gained some traction, even though brands like GPD and Ioneo already existed. Today we have with us the Asus ROG Ally, a handheld gaming device from a big brand that is Asus. Yes, Lenovo also has their Legion Go, but I just got a chance to check out the Ally. So here's a quick look. This is the ROG Ally. This one is a demo device available to try out at Vishal Peripherals. As you can see, it runs on Windows, unlike the Steam Deck using their own Steam OS. CPU side, it's a custom AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme. And the Ally's processor has more performance on paper as compared to the Steam Deck's AMD Aerith. We have RGB elements on the two thumbsticks and we find a direction pad, two custom buttons on the left and on the right. And we also have the ABXY buttons. On the top we have the RBRT and LBLT buttons and at the back we have two custom M1 M2 buttons. The ROG Ally runs on Windows 11 so you have the freedom to install all the games from Steam, Epic, GOG and also sideload them. After all it's a tiny Windows PC. The box comes with a ROG branded stand which is temporary at best but if you don't have a talk this is better than nothing. The screen is 7 inches with a resolution of 1920x1080 and it has a refresh rate of 120Hz. The refresh rate is variable and can vary between 48 to 120 hertz It supports 8-bit color with full sRGB coverage with peak brightness of 500 nits. 7 milliseconds of response time which is nice. Color performance is quite good too. We have two front speakers, one on each side near where you would grip and it provides stereo separation. There is a Dolby Atmos app pre-installed which can help widen the sound stage. Microphones are available on the Ally and they can be used for in-game voice chat. I have here the Z1 Extreme model which has an 8-core, 16-thread CPU and a GPU with 12 compute units with 16GB of 6400MHz LPDDR5 memory and 512GB Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD storage. If you want more space for your games, use a microSD card. As it is with the Steam Deck, we can also replace the internal storage of the ROG Ally, which is a 2230 M.2 SSD. Asus also provides a guide on how on their website. Weight-wise, it's only 608 grams, which is very light as compared to the Steam Deck 669 grams. The Ally has a dual fan cooling system and boy does it get hot when gaming for too long. These vents at the back with the ROG symbol allows for air in but looks to be quite restrictive. Connectivity, we have a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port which is part of the ROG XG mobile interface and just like their laptops can be connected to an external GPU using this proprietary connector. Wireless connectivity is triple band Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Using the Armory Create interface, we can switch between modes and profiles easily. I had problems with the buttons and the interface wouldn't open many a time. But it's there and we have options to set the power limit all the way down to 10 watts to conserve battery and also be pushed up to 25 watts in turbo mode. Increasing the power mode will drain the battery faster. Connect a power adapter and we can raise it still to 30 watts. Grand Theft Auto benchmark ran at 30 fps which is still smooth for gameplay. I also checked that there was no frame limiter on. Spider-Man ran at around 30 fps too and there was no stuttering. The power button is also a fingerprint scanner. Volume buttons are easy to reach and tactile. There are some cool shiny design elements on the sides and also on the back. What I like about the Steam Deck is that it acts like a console. It starts up fast and resume sleep features are a boon. And while owning Steam allows them to pre-cache shaders and allows for download when installing the games so that the system doesn't need to spend time building them again. But that is if you purchase these games off Steam. Using loopholes and installing other stores like Epic and GOG, it will remove this advantage. The Allies Windows OS, you can install any game from any store as long as it supports Windows and applications too. But Windows as an OS for game consoles is still a little clunky and Microsoft is on its way to make the experience better but it does take time and a 7 inch touchscreen on Windows with only a gamepad controls is a usability nightmare. The Steam Deck has a fully usable touch gamepad based navigation which is very easy to use. Battery life on the Ally using its 40 watt hour battery 
it lasts long enough but it depends on what game you are playing the rog ally is a great performer once you are within a game and the display looks gorgeous too i am hoping asus and microsoft bring in more improvements in future to make interacting with the device easier they are officially available in india so you can claim warranty so that's an advantage there so i didn't get much time with the rog ally and this is a quick first look i will update again in future once i get to play with it more so that was the video make sure to like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added thank you for watching and see you all next time